Hi, good evening. Hi, thank you. Welcome to the show. Hey. I have Lyle James, your host. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lyle James Show. A little bit different tonight. Uh, instead of our usual studio, uh, we are on the set live via tape at the <laughs> fabulous Derby Dinner Playhouse. And my guest this evening is, uh, is Mr. Kerry Weeger. And uh, he is a... Uh, He's been here for 20 years, I hear. <laughs> Going on 21, yeah. Yep. Well, tell me a little bit about what you have done uh, uh, over the years, some of the plays you've been in. And... Well, I came actually, uh, I guess it was spring of 86, to do one show, Arsenic and Old Lace, actually was my first show, and I got stuck for almost 20 years, 21 <laughs> years, I guess. And since then, I've done about 160, 165 different productions. I kind of lose track after a while. Everything from chorus to a couple of leads and supporting roles. So, well, yeah. cool. I understand it says on here your uh, your most enduring role is uh, being the oldest living footnote. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we do the little pre-show before the play actually begins, about a 10 or 15 minute show, of singing and dancing, get all the important announcements out, turn off your cell phones, all that kind of thing. Right. Um, and I've been doing that ever since I started. Now I kind of direct the show and put it together for them. So, you know. Uh, you may not remember this, but I remember, showing my age, <laughs> I remember when they used to be called Barnstormers. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, we were Barnstormers when I first started. And I guess it was maybe, oh golly, I lose track now, probably 10 years ago or so. They uh, actually had a contest to come up with a new name, and Footnotes was one of the names they, des they decided they liked. Oh. I always think it's because we're on our feet all night and we sing notes, so there we go. <laughs> we're Footnotes. You know, uh, folks, if you've never been to the uh, Derby Dinner Playhouse before, you need to come on down. It's been recently renovated. The lobby's beautiful and new. Um, you know, they have some great plays here. And uh, you know what else they do? They feed you. They have a buffet here. You get to eat all you want, trust me. <clears throat> and they have liquor if you drink. On, and uh, and uh, they also have uh, desserts. That's almost a show in itself when exactly. you all come out. Exactly. One night. <laughs> One guy did a pirouette across the stage with us. I don't know how he kept that from <laughs> falling down, but he did. But uh, it's a great place to come. You need to come and see some of the great plays. Okay. Now, right now, you are uh, are you in the the play that's going on? Yeah, it's called Divorce Southern Style. It's a comedy. It's uh, it's actually very funny. It was originally titled Winter Chicken, as opposed to Spring Chicken. <laughs> uh, Divorce Southern Style, I think, is a better title for it. Yeah, it's it's very funny. It um. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's about a, a middle-aged woman who's been divorced for about 15 years, decides she needs some money, so the easiest thing she can think of is to go back and try to hook up with her ex-husband of 15 years ago, and the comedy that ensues, as they say. I, I, <clears throat> I hear that's a lot of a slapstick on this. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The slapstick's always good. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, uh, what's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you on stage? Oh boy. I think the funniest thing, and I tell the story a lot, uh, when I first started 21 years ago here, I had a little more hair on the top of my head, but it's been disappearing ever since. And we did a show called uh, Do Black Patent Leather Shoes Really Reflect Up, in which we started out playing first graders and then progressed through school. And I was sitting on the stage, uh, cross-legged, in my little first grader position, and my character's name was Felix. And every once in a while, the good sister would walk by and whap me on the head with her ruler. And then the priest would come in and whap me on the head with his uh, little missile. And about the third or fourth time I got whapped one night, a lady up in the audience over there very loudly said, well, no wonder he's going bald. <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> After that, I found some spray to cover it up. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, you know, I've always uh, found it uh, fascinating how actors, being a novice comedian, it's... Um, we kind of have a script that we go by, mm -hmm. and sometimes I get stumped on stage. And somebody <laughs> will throw something at you. <laughs> Not literally, but, uh, you know, and right. just kind of throw you off key. But what do you, um, have you ever had anybody ever talk to you while you're performing? And then it From the audience, occasionally we get comments, uh, but you do your best to ignore them because we're in the character, so they really aren't there in our <laughs> little world on stage. But, yeah, so you get used to it. Uh, how, how do you remember your lines? Or well, <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have the, to improvise? <laughs> absolutely not. We get every word of the. No, occasionally it happens. You know, you'll 
forget something or just slightly distracted, but we work so well as a company usually that we cover for each other occasionally or just uh, start ad-libbing until we find our way back into the script. But it's not very often. It's, we're really pretty consistently on the script, I think. <laughs> and if we aren't, I'll never admit it. <laughs> is, uh, is there a... Uh, no, we can't give phone numbers out, but there, is there a website for... Yeah, Derby derbydinner.com. Derby you can uh, go on that, folks, and you can uh, uh, find out how to get tickets, directions. It's over in Clarksville, Indiana. They've been here for how many years have they been here now? Uh, 32 or 3, something uh, like that. I, I, well, I knew it had been close to 30. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure. But. Yep, a little over 30 years. It We're here every night of the year, almost. We're closed on Mondays. We do occasionally have concerts on Monday nights, but our shows run Tuesday through Sunday nights. We have matinees on Wednesday and Sunday also. Now, are, are actors still stupor, uh, superstitious, superstitious <laughs> about, um, uh, you know, not saying good luck on opening night? Mm, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and you're not supposed to mention the Scottish play, Shakespeare's Scottish play backstage. Uh, there are a few little things like that, but I think it's mostly for fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people wear the same underwear the entire run of the show, you know, oh. things like that. But no, <laughs> not really. Lovely. <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> so um uh, so just some of the plays here that's mentioned you were you've been in peace in the valley mm -hmm. uh and peace like a river pet leather shoes and you were the reverend oglethorpe mm -hmm. and smoke, smoke on the mountain, on the, mountain right. the butler bunting and the murdered to death felix and the odd couple reverend shaw moore and footloose i remember the movie yep, yep. and mr body and clue the musical charlie and the another summer which was actually the musical version of On Golden Pond. That was really yeah. It was kind of a regional premiere. In fact, the author and uh, or the playwright and the composer both came and worked with us on that. And you were the title character in The Nerd. The Nerd, one of my favorite shows. Yes, <laughs> written by Larry Shu, who also wrote The Foreigner, which we did just last year. Um, he was killed at a very young age in a plane crash. Which was too bad, a great loss because he wrote some great shows in his brief career. Now, I know it says, uh, um, your bio says you're originally from River Falls, Wisconsin. Right. right. Have you gotten used to living here in Louisville? I can say y'all when I have to. I can. But I can still say oofta too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss, the sn I miss the winters of Wisconsin. Believe it or not, I miss the snow and the cold. We haven't had any snow here for a while. <laughs> A long Not time. Terry, <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Lon. And um, folks, uh, please don't change that channel. We'll be right back after this uh, message from Derby Dinner Party.